dear friends welcome to tech nursery in this video i am going to discuss about an error which i got when i was working with the unity project i have installed unity hub and i installed unity by using unity hub and i tried to build android app bundle using unity application unfortunately when i click on build button after some time i got this error if you check on my screen you can see that i have one error assembly assets external dependency manager editor 1.2.175 google.ios resolver.dll will not be loaded due to errors unable to resolve reference unity editor ios extensions xcode is the assembly missing or incompatible with the current platform so if you want to build your application for both android and ios you have to fix this error or if you are stick with android side only that means you want apk or android app bundle you don't want any application for using in ios systems apple phones then you can just delete this file assets external dependency manager editor 1.2. 175 google.iosresolver.dll you just delete this file google.iosresolver.dll in this location assets external dependency manager editor 1.2.175 then the actual file google.iosresolver.dll that means when you try to build an apk or android bundle android app bundle you are you have no plan to build application for ios systems for apple phones tabs then you can remove this file from your source code automatically this this problem will be solved this error is solved but it can possible only when you are only stick with android application you don't have plan to distribute ios app for this software but if you want if you want both android and ios then how we can solve this issue from my experience i fixed this error i didn't go for deleting this file because i want both android side and ios side for my application i need to upload my application in play store and i need to upload my application on apple store so in order to fix this error what i did is i open my unity hub then this is the unity version 2021.3.4 for to f1 lts long term support which i used it to open my unity application source code then i tried to build apk or android app bundle then i got this error so i want go for building application for my ios systems apple phones and tabs so i want to fix this error what i did is i just go to unity hub then i click on my unity software which i used to build my application click this settings button it is in installs okay installs all official releases pre releases click on our unity version which we used to load our software unity 2021. 3.42 f1 lts click this settings button click this add modules 
by clicking this add modules button you can see all the available software which can be used with this unity version all the available modules all the available packages listed here if you want to add this tv os build support click this one and continue okay so in order to fix this error ios resolver dot dll google dot ios resolver dot dll will not be loaded so unable to reference unity editor ios extensions dot xcode so in order to fix this error make sure that you have already installed ios build support in my system it is already installed when i got that error i installed this ios build support file for you if that error exists and if this ios build support at this location is not marked it is not installed on this system try to install this ios build support then run your program on unity software so by adding or installing this ios build support module or packager package to your current unity version you can fix this error assembly assets external dependency manager editor 1.2.175 google ios resolver dot dll will not be loaded due to errors unable to resolve reference unity editor ios extensions dot xcode okay i i hope my video is very helpful for you once again try to add required modules and packages for your unity application using this unity hub i will tell once again select your unity version click on settings add modules mark if you want add this one mark this one and follow these steps continue currently my ios build support is already installed so i solved this problem by installing this ios build support i hope this video is helpful for you thank you